G'day beer lovers. I'm at the train station. I'm going to go into town. I'm going to go into the central city area of Perth. Have a look around. Take a few videos. I love trains. Yeah, it's such an easy way of getting around. It's just so easy. So safe taking a car into the city any day. So you park your car over there at the car park, that multi-level car park station there. And then you just walk over to the station here. Pretty convenient. Only costs $2 to park your car. You know, that's for the entire day. That's not too bad. To catch the train into Perth from here is $5.50. Public transport is managed by Transperth. Transperth operates bus services, ferry services and light rail and train services throughout the city of Perth. In the city of Perth, there are five main railway lines which crisscrosses the city and what they all have in common is they all meet up in the central city area of Perth. The city is currently building a new railway line to the airport and that will be the sixth major line. In the Transperth Railway Network, there is 70 railway stations and in a single year, Transperth will move 64 million people. So there's 64 million passenger journeys in a year. Over the last five to 10 years, the central city area of Perth has been developing its underground network and the latest addition underground station. The new Perth Underground Station only serves two major railway networks, that is the Northern Line and the Southern Line that goes to Mandra. All the other railway networks still terminate at the old Perth Station. The old Perth station and the Perth underground station are connected by an underground tunnel and it is a short 300 metres underground from the old Perth station to the new Perth underground station. Bike lockers are located at most suburban railway stations 